Hi guys, my name is Akshay Dev. Today we are discussing the topic time and work. Usually, uh, two or three questions are asked in competitive exams from this topic. So our aim is to score the maximum from these questions. So let's start time and work. Okay guys, let's start. This is the first question. This is a basic type of question. First we will see how we find out this one. A can do a work in 15 days and B in 20 days. If they work on it together for 4 days, then the fraction of work remaining is. Here we need to find out the fraction of work remaining after A and B working together for 4 days. So we are following efficiency method here. First we will write down work required for A and B separately. That is given. A 15 days and B 20 days. This is the number of days. So here we need to assume a number as the work done. So in this method we take this as the LCM of this 15 and 20. LCM is 60. So now we will find out the efficiency of A. We know that efficiency is equal to work done by time. Here work we, we have taken as 60. So efficiency of A will be 60 by 15. That is 4. Here efficiency of B is 60 by 20. That is 3. Now they have said that A and B work together for 4 days. 4 days. A and B work together. So A plus B their total efficiency is 4 plus 3 that is 7. And they have worked for 4 days. So this 28 work they have done already. Now the remaining work is 60 minus 28 that is 32. But we need to find the fraction of work remaining. That means remaining work by total work. Total work was 60. So this is equal to by 15 is the answer. Second problem. A, B and C can do a piece of work in 20, 30 and 60 days respectively. In how many days can A do the work if he is assisted by B and C on every third day? This is a common problem asked in bank exams. So let's be thorough with this one. Here A, B and C takes 20, 30 and 60 days separately. So what they have said is A is assisted by B and C on every third day. That means for the first two days A alone will work and in the third day all three will work. So let's take one first three days. First day A will work. Second day Again, an anomaly work, and the third day, this three will work on the third day. Now, let's find out the efficiency of A, B, and C. Again, we will write down number of days required that is 20, 30, and 60. And the work done here, we will assume the LCM of these three values. That is number of days. So the LCM is 60. Now efficiency of A is work done by number of days. That is 60 by 20. That is 3. Efficiency of A is 3. Efficiency of B is 60 by 32. And efficiency of C is 
1 that is 60 by 60 this is 1 now we have got all three efficiencies of a b and c now in the first day a alone will work that means efficiency 3 is the for the first day so first day 3 in the second day again a that is 3 but for the third day a is assisted by both b and c that means we need to add these three values that is 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 6 so this is three days condition so for three days the total efficiency is 3 plus 3 plus 6 that is 12 for the first three days efficiency is 12 and for the next three days again this will repeat that is for the next three days another 12 so here what we need to find out is in how many cycles this will complete this total work 60 so for the first three days this is 12 for the next three days again it will be 12 like that we need to get total 60 so we will divide this 60 by 12 that means 5 that means our answer is not 5 this is 5 times of this 3 days this one is 3 days so 5 into 3 that is 15 days in science this is a common question that they are asking in time and work section so you should be very thorough with these kind of questions third question a is thrice as good as workman as b and therefore is able to finish the job in 60 days less than b working together they can do it in how many days that is what we need to find out here this is a little bit of different question from the previous one here the work required for a and b is not given in this question or what we know is a need 60 days less than b so we will do it in a different way It is said that A is thrice as good as workman as B. That means A is a better worker than B. Better worker and thrice as good as B. It is specified. So, if you are considering the efficiency of A and B, we can say that if efficiency of B is 1, if you are taking efficiency of B as 1, then efficiency of B will be 3. Because A is thrice as good as B as good as b that means with the word good it means they are considering the efficiency so thrice as good as b means thrice the efficiency of b so efficiency of b is 1 and efficiency of 3 a is 3 and the number of days here we cannot assume a number as the work done because we don't know the work sorry we don't know the number of days required for A and B each then only we can assume a number as the work done as the LCM of that two numbers but here all we know is if B takes X plus 60 days then A takes X days because B takes 60 days more than A now what will we do we know that A and B are doing the same work that means work is equal to efficiency into time the total work done by A is 3 into x that means 3x and B is also doing the same work so this 3x equal to 1 into x plus 60 understood because both are doing the same work so from this we can find the value of x as 2x equal to 60 and x equal to 30. Now we understood the work required for a and b separately as a required 30 days and b required 30 plus 60 that is 90 days. 
Now we know that the efficiency of A is 3 and the number of required for A is 30. So that we can find out the total work. That is 3 into 30, that is 90. So we should remember that in this case also we should get the same number. And let's check that is 1 into 90. That also we are getting 90. So now we understood the total work. That is 90. So the question is working together they can do it in how many days. So work 90 by total efficiency that is 3 plus 1 that is 4. So the answer is 90 by 4 days. Okay. Fourth problem. A alone can do a piece of work in 6 days and B alone in 8 days. A and B undertook to do it for rupees 3200. With the help of C, they completed the work in eight, three days. Work in three days. How much is to be paid to C? Here we need to find out how much rupees is paid to C. So, this is also a very common question asked in bank exams. This type of questions. If X does uh, work in this much days and Y does a work in this much days then how much is to be paid to x and how much is to be paid to y this type is very common so we need to be thorough with this question also so let's begin with finding the efficiency of each persons the number of days required for a to complete the work is 6 days and for b it is 8 days but we don't know the number of days required for C but they have said that with the help of C they completed the work in 3 days that means A plus B plus C this is 3 days again we need to find the LCM to find out the work done total work done so the LCM is 24 and the efficiency of A is 4 24 by 6 then 24 by 8 that is 3 then 24 by 3 that is 8 so this is the combined efficiency of A, B and C so from this we can find out the efficiency of C efficiency of A plus B is 4 plus 3 7 A plus B is 7 so, A plus B plus C is 8 and the efficiency of C will be 1. That is 8 minus A plus B's efficiency that is 7. 8 minus 7, 1. So, efficiency of C is 1. Now, we can find out the ratio of efficiencies of A, B and C. That is 4 is to 3 is to 1. This is how they work. The efficiency of A, B and C. So, the total rupees is 3200. And that rupees also should be given in this ratio. 4 is to 3 is to 1. So, this total is 3 plus 4 plus 1. 8. This 8 is 3200. We need to find out how much is to be paid to C. That is C. This 1. So it is simply 400. This 8 is 3200. So 1 will be 3200 by 8. That is 400. This is called broken chain method. I will explain this chain method in the next video. This is a very important method in attitude exams. A very effective way for finding the number, missing number. For those who did not understand this method, we can find it in the conventional method. That is 3200 into the rupees given for C is 1 by total that is 8 
1 by h 3200 into 1 by h that is 400 but we should learn this broken chain method in the next question I will explain this method also